What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. A couple years ago, I remember I was researching video topics and was beginning to give up before coming across a very unique coaster called Fantasia Special. Located in South Korea, Fantasia Special was a roller coaster built by Aerodynamics back in 1993 that was not only eventually given three color schemes at the same time, but more importantly featured the all too rare triple corkscrew. In fact, up until 2014, it was the only roller coaster in the world to feature it. Now, unfortunately, Fantasia Special and its park have been sitting abandoned since 2020, and I've heard rumors of their demolition. But nonetheless, I stumbled across something that may pique your interest as well. Also featuring a triple corkscrew, this photo, yes, this photo right here, eluded me for two years and I never knew what to do about it. Like, I can usually do pretty good research on obscure rides with otherwise no information known about them, but this thing really had no information on it, and I struggled with this script. But after two years of slow research, I'm happy to say I have finally uncovered the story of the other coaster, or coasters, with the all too rare triple corkscrew. So what is it, and where did it come from? This is the story of me uncovering Yumaji Theme Park's unknown triple corkscrew coaster. First, let me start off by saying no. Unfortunately, this theme park is not themed to the Jumanji we all know, and in fact, it's pretty far from it. It's actually pronounced Yumanji and appears like this in Chinese characters. Plus, the park is relatively small, and it's crammed in amongst a lot of other things. Which sucks for me because that was my starting point, and I literally only had this one photo to go off of. And that's also the same photo that intrigued me in the first place. <laughs> so what did I do? Well, I needed to find the location of this thing regardless, and I thought this might just be a prototype at its manufacturer's facility. So the first thing I actually did was check there on Google Earth. Known as Jirpao, they are located in Hebei and have produced 39 roller coasters to date, including 13 of these coasters with triple corkscrews. And by the way, this one at Yumanji Theme Park is the only one with known photos that I showed you. No triple corkscrew coaster there though. I then decided to get a little creative, and I did a Google search in Mandarin looking for any clues about the ride, and I still didn't find much. So I headed to Jirpao's website to see if they had any information listed under their model category, and that's where I got my first hit. Unfortunately, it still didn't give me a location, but what I did get was a lot of new photos and there were a lot of new landmarks to go off of under their new model name, which is funny because the ride only has 5 inversions and they call it the Six Rings Roller Coaster model. Still, a giant skywheel, this road, and that shoot the shoot were all what I was looking for in identifying this thing. So, my next step was then to check the database and see if it knew at least the general region the park was in. Nanjung, Hangzhong, Shangxi, China is what I got, and when I plugged that into Earth, it left me with this area outlined in red. This led to hours of me exploring this region for any sign of a roller coaster, and I came close a couple times to what I thought might be a theme park under construction, but it turns out it was nothing. At this point, I'll be honest though, I was getting pretty frustrated and I didn't really want to touch the script, so I did it for a few weeks. But when I came back, I just kind of had this weird feeling to do another Google search in Mandarin, and boom, that's when I found a website. Now, this website was super cool and it was actually really helpful, but I was definitely still going to need to fight for a location. It mentioned the attraction address as here, which was the middle section of Jiangnangxi Road, and I wasn't quite sure where that was. Unfortunately, when I searched for any of these in Google Earth, it didn't pull them up and I just don't think it exists on our maps. In a last ditch effort though, I did pull up a Chinese map and that's when I finally got coordinates to the elusive triple corkscrew roller coaster. I found it. You have no idea how fast I flagged this thing and it was just such a good moment for me. With five inversions, the ride starts off with your standard chain lift up to 100 feet, where guests will then drop into two loops and a triple corkscrew. It's a very, very simple design, but that element is just so rare and it's just so bizarre to see. More interesting, I was just so proud of myself, I had to compare the photos and check this out. That road right there is actually used for the park now from what I can tell, and it appears they moved the sky wheel and the shoot the shoot as a whole to these other locations. How sick is that? The park is also fully filled in, and I am just in awe looking at that triple corkscrew. I mean, look at that photo we started with. It was just dirt, and now it's like, here, it's just so cool. It's like finding treasure, honestly. It's like, as a coaster enthusiast, it's like finding treasure. <laughs> like, especially too, if Fantasia Special is gone, I, I'd love to be one of the few to experience that thing. 
With that said though, we have now reached the end of this long video which was such an extensive piece of research for me. So if you did like it or found it informative, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. It takes a lot of work, but you know what? I'm really glad to be back doing this and it's really fun for me. And it's even more satisfying when I actually find what I'm looking for. So if you have any suggestions for other rides that you want me to go and find or do histories on, of course, feel free to leave those down below as well. But other than that, I appreciate you all being here as always. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. So we'll see you there. See ya.